Well, hi guys, I'm finally here. I'm going to give you a tour of my bedroom. You guys wanted me to show you a little bit of what I've been doing in my bedroom and I'm finally going to give it to you. So welcome back again to my channel. Life is Juliana, another video, my bedroom tour. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. Turn on your post notification settings so you will always be reminded when I upload videos like this one, all right? Come on, let's get it on. So, okay guys, this is my bed and this bed is a king size bed and I have to tell you this bed is super comfortable it is so comfortable guys. No, there's nothing better than going to bed in a comfortable soft big bed I mean this bed is super super comfortable and I sleep like a queen in this bed y'all I sleep like a queen the only thing every night you gotta go and take the cushions out and leave the main source in the bed but otherwise I'm just in love with this bed yes I am I have several cushions as you can see on my bed I love I am in love with cushions in all my rooms I have tons and tons and tons of cushions all over each room I think it does a lot and it says a lot about the person's personality so I love earth tones that's one thing that I have to tell you guys that I love I love her tones so yeah this is my bed right here Now these lamps right here are lamps that I made myself. Doing this bedroom, I wanted lamp, a certain kind of a lamp and I could not find it. No matter where I go, I couldn't find it. It wasn't about price or not like that. It was just what was going to blend in and give me that earth tone English kind of, my kind of Juliana type of thing, right? Now, what I did, I went to the Goodwill store and I found two lamps and I didn't want to make the lamps the same for sure. I wanted my husband's lamp to be different and I wanted my lamp to be different. So anyway, I got the shades from the Goodwill store that was $2 a piece, that's $4. And then the lamp itself was like $3 a piece. And I went to like little Nick Snocks, like right here I went to um, Walmart and then for the crystal stone the diamond stones I went to Michaels and I did my work use my spray paint and spray the shade of the lamp so right there I had the perfect lamp that was going to blend right in with the pillows and the sheet and all that other stuff the trimmings I got those from John fabrics and they were probably about $3.99 a yard and I got a few I can't remember how many yards I got but I know for sure that it was $3.99 per yard for the, for the trimming so yeah that's my lamp then I have my little jewelry box right here my husband has one on his, on his side when I get home I just like throw little jewelry in here and input them watch them or whatever and yeah that's it right there now in the corner of the bedroom wall, I wanted something that was just going to be nice and quiet. Not loud and throw the beauty of the room off, of the bedroom corner off. Just wanted something really nice and dainty. So what I did, I just went to my favorite place. I went to my Goodwill store and this one is in Fayetteville, Georgia. And I found these right here for about three dollars yes guys that cost me three dollars right there and then the vase was I think four dollars and ninety nine cents for the vase and that is a statement piece right now these right here I bought two of them there was is a pair and I got those from a yard sale and the lady was selling them for a dollar so they were 50 cent a piece so I put one on each side so they're right there as far as my curtains go 
I have this, um, the way that I made this curtain, I have it on a video. I made this curtain myself. I set the windows up myself because I love a statement piece, guys. I love trendy things. I love things that stand out, but I like things that is different. So in order to get things that are standing out and things that is different, the way that I want it, I always try to make my own. I'm gonna put the link down below to show you how I achieved this particular curtain at the window, right? But I think this really does a lot to the wall and it does a lot for the bedroom. It has all the earth tone colors that I have in my bed, on my sheets, the pillowcase, everything, they all blend together. The only thing that is different, I go ahead and then change it. I change this up pretty often, depending on how my mood is. But in the video, it's a different curtain holder that you'll see that video. But yes, I change them very, very often. I paid $2 for that right here, it's a pair. So I paid $2 for that. And I never go buck while trying to do home decor. I always try to find my pieces on a budget, guys. I love pretty things. I really do love pretty things. I like when my house is nice and unique, but I like to know that I did those unique touches myself. And I think this um, window curtain is really beautiful. The natural sunlight that comes there. I did not want to cover the, the beauty of that sunlight. I wanted to be able to see outside when I wake up in the morning. And I also wanted to see those birds going back and forth because I don't know what about birds, yes. And I just, I love, I really love the way this piece came out. It came out really nice. I just wanted to make my bedroom just cozy. Didn't want to overpower using two chairs. All I need was one chair. And I found that chair for 20 bucks, y'all. 20 bucks. And that was it for that chair. So I have my chair in that one corner right there. And then I have the corner decor right there. Really tied everything together. I mean, it tied everything in the room together. It came out really, really nice. Now, every morning when I wake up, if you get prepared, this can't remind me because it's so big in the room. And I just look at it and start praying. It says, Lord's Prayer, our Father who art in heaven, all it be that name, that kingdom come. Every morning, as soon as I open my eyes, this is what I see. This is my side of the bed. It's, it's right there. And so every morning when I wake up, I pray the Lord's Prayer before I do anything. Give God thanks for everything, right? Now, the rug right here was... Um, Kind of pricey i went to amazon and i bought this um rug i paid about 250 dollars for this but never normally buy a rug that's going to cost me 200 not even 100 dollars. but this rug i fell in love with the rug because it has all the colors the heart tone colors that i love and it blends right in with my decor it's soft on the feet, and yes, I love this rug. Now, moving right along is one of the my favorite, one of my favorite places in my bedroom, my dresser. And the reason why it's one of my favorite places is because I put a lot of love into everything that's on the dresser. I'm gonna put a link down below to show you guys how I made this crystal standing candlelight candle stand but I'm going to show you the thing is beautiful and I love it when the light is off it's gorge that is what it looks like at night time when we are just relaxing just chilling hubby and I we are just getting all these flickering, comforting, peaceful vibes in the room. And I'm telling you guys, this is beautiful at night. Gorge, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now y'all, what I didn't want to have happen was putting perfumes directly upon the dresser. I did not want that. So I went ahead and made perfume stands. So I made one for me and then I made one for hubby, right? 
because I definitely don't want a perfume circles on this thing. That thing right there, y'all, was made from a picture frame, picture frame from the Dollar Tree store. I'm also going to insert a link below to show you how to make all of this. So this is a six set piece, right? It came out beautiful. Of course, you know your girl I have to have our angel. Yeah, I have angels in every single room of my house. My bedroom, my living room, my dining room, every single room. When you first walk into my house, you're going to meet an angel at the front. And you best believe when you leave, you're going to find an angel leaving out with you because right. I believe in angels. No goody. If you don't love angels, like me love angels, comment down below and let me know if you love angels as much as I do. Right? But I think angels is a thing that you need to have in your house. Yeah, a lot of people need them. For real. No, them look at teddy bear right there. So my daughter gave my husband one and she gave me one. I think it was two years ago, Valentine's Day. She's always giving us teddy bear. But anytime she gives us stuff like that, we always try to put them in the house somewhere so at least she could see and know that we do appreciate all her gifts. Even if it costs a dollar, we still show her that, you know, we appreciate all her gifts. But my angel baby girl is right there and she protects me and that's my prayer, my praying hand right there. So I'm going to have prayers to remind me to pray every single day when I go to bed and when I wake up. Now y'all, this piece right here, I made this piece. I think it was a couple of months ago, but I also did the video on this piece right here. This is one of the pieces that I just cannot get rid of. We can't, no matter how oh, a lot of people ask me, see it, I cannot give it to them because this is a statement piece. I kid you not. I am in love with this wall decor. Now, I'm going to also insert, as a matter of fact, all the, everything that I'm showing you guys it's going to be included. The things that I do have on film, I'm going to put them down below in the link. So you could see how I made this. But this is beautiful, y'all. It is so beautiful. That is made out of nothing but popsicle stick. And it's all from a Dollar Tree store. This middle mirror right here, that's also from a Dollar Tree store. So it was very cheap and affordable. Everything, the crystal balls, all of that was from a Dollar Tree store. Um, it's really inexpensive it was very expensive in the store and I decided I'm going to make something similar and I love 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 the way this turned out it's really Now y'all, as far as my bathroom is concerned, I wanted my bathroom to be nice and warm. Somewhere we can probably come in and eat. I want my bathroom to be just warm and friendly and calming. And so I went all the way in. Now what I did, I got some uh, candle stands and I found these beautiful candles right there. And I just incorporated them into the bathroom and then I found this right here at a yard sale for about a dollar and all I did was get some spray paint sprayed it up and changed its color all together and then all the nicks and knacks that I found here and there different places where I go and shop for the little findings I found this beautiful wall decor and it blends right into the wall the it, it blends so much into the wall guys that you can hardly even see it that it is warm and peaceful and oh, I love this bathroom I tell you when I come in here to take a shower I don't even want to come out the bathroom it's so friendly it is so common now my curtains right here I made my curtains myself and I also wanted it to have a little bling so what I did I went to John Fabrics and I got these right here and I incorporated everything into the curtain just to give it an extra little like you know standout type of thing so what I did with my material that I had left over from after making my curtains I went ahead and made two brush holder two paste and the pump all these right here was a dollar in the Dollar Tree 
and with my crystal and everything else it looks like a million dollar but yes that was only a dollar each in the Dollar Tree right now that little basin right there that the trash can I did the same thing use the fabric the leftover fabric put it on my trash can put all the crystals around it like that and now I have a fabulous trash can and matching toothpaste holder and toothbrush and and everything else everything just matches beautifully gorgeously Well, okay goodies, now that I've shown you my bedroom and the little things that makes me happy and what I did to it, it's time for you to go. So until next time, I guess I will catch you in my next upload, right? I'll talk to you soon. Bye.